Alright folks, hello and welcome to these video examples. In these videos we'll be looking at part two of your take home exponent assignment, numbers five through eight. Let's take a look at number five. Uh, as usual, I'm going to give you the first step in this problem and talk a little bit about it so you can complete it uh, on your own. First thing you'll notice is we have a fraction raised to a power. And the relevant exponent rule when you have a fraction raised to a power is to take the numerator to that power or to that exponent and the denominator to that same exponent. So what we have here is negative 2 as the exponent and we need to raise every term inside the parentheses to the negative 2 exponent. So I'm going to do that very carefully. I'm first going to write 3 to the negative 2 then y to the 10 to the negative 2 is y to the negative 20 then x to the 3 to the negative 2 is x to the negative 6 uh, the rule I'm using there is a power of a power if you have x to the n to the m you will multiply those to make x to the n times m and so in the denominator we will have 4 to the negative 2 x to the negative 10 and y to the negative 2 Okay. now some people like to work with these negative exponents I like to, let me just block off this I like to rewrite the problem again uh, so that there's no negative exponents so I'm going to move everything's location all these in the denominator are going to be moved to the numerator and become positive exponents so that gives me 4 to the second x to the tenth y squared and then these are going to be moved to the denominator and that becomes 3 to the second y to the twentieth and x to the sixth and now that you have all positive exponents you can notice some canceling that can occur before simplifying for your final answer so that's how to start off number five don't forget that the meaning of a negative exponent is not to multiply by a negative but to move its location and then uh, change the exponent to positive in number six first thing I notice is we have a zero exponent the rule there is that anything raised to the zero power or an exponent of zero just equals one so I can rewrite this whole first fraction as one over negative three m to the fourth and then we'll have times negative nine m n to the fifth I can put that in parentheses if I want don't have to but just kind of treating these as fractions we'll multiply straight across and oh you know what I just made a mistake in rewriting I oh, know I didn't but uh, this part we can put in parentheses if we want but we'll just carry it over negative 9 m and to the fifth and then in the denominator I'm going to help you simplify this part we need to do both terms to the fourth power uh, be careful here this is technically raising negative 3 that whole term to the fourth and when you raise negative 3 to the fourth if you do that carefully it's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 and the negatives are going to be multiplied to make a positive so that's actually going to come out to positive 81 and then we have m to the fourth I'll leave it to you to do that final cancellation and simplifying with the m's moving on to number seven we're going to look at this the same way we did number five and the first thing I'm going to do is notice that we have a power of a power in the numerator we have this whole product raised to the exponent of two so I'm going to raise each term inside to the exponent of two so that will become four squared h to the negative eighth and g to the eighteenth when you have a power of a power you multiply the exponents in the denominator we can keep 24 h to the negative 12 g to the fifth and then the next step I like to do is get rid of those negative exponents um, so I'm going to leave it as 16 that just 4 squared becomes 16 and then I'm going to move this to the numerator h to the 12th g to the 18th in the denominator now we have 24 and then I'm going to move this to the denominator because it's a negative exponent which gives me h to the negative 8 I'm sorry it's no longer negative when you move it gives you h to the 8th 
and g to the fifth. I'll leave it to you to do the final cancellation there. All right, last but not least, let's take a look at number eight. In this one, first I notice only x here is raised to the zero power. There's no parentheses around the 20, so this x to the zero is going to become a big one. So we have a 20 times one there, uh, and we may want to rewrite that first fraction as 20 over x to the fifth, y to the seventh, and then I'm going to move this y to the negative fourth to the denominator and make it y to the positive fourth. Secondly, let's look at the next fraction. We have everything in here raised to the fourth power, or to the exponent of four, so I'll have to distribute that four to all of these terms, and that will leave me x to the twentieth, y to the eighth, over negative two to the fourth, which is sixteen, positive sixteen, x to the fourth, and y to the fourth. I'll leave it to you to notice any cancellations or combinations you can make to get this in final simplified form. But those are the first steps for each of these exponent problems. I hope you watched this example and copied down any notes that were needed. Thanks for watching.